Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's going to be a little bit different of a video. I have to drill a hole in the center of this shaft, so I thought I would quickly go over how I arrive at dead center on the shaft. The easiest way I've found to explain it is you take your cutter diameter, you divide that by two, come up with 218 thousandths, you take your shaft diameter, this shaft is inch and three sixteenths, which is one inch, 187 thousandths, divide by two, comes up to 593. Then, after we touch off on the side right here, my machine has about five thousandths death wobble in the spindle, or the quill. After we touch off with a piece of paper behind to find dead center, we will move in 593 thousandths, half of our shaft diameter, and 218 thousandths, which add those two together, comes up to 811 thousandths. This is the easiest way I have found to do this. My old milling machine does not have a DRO or digital readout, and it just works for us. We use it about three or four times a year. An old machinist told me the easiest way to take up the death wobble, this machine has about five thousandths, is to take a piece of paper and put it between your workpiece and your cutter bit and then zero off of that. This particular piece excuse me, appears to be about two and a half thou, so that's just about right to take out about five thousandths of death wobble. You can see here that the bit just started skipping the piece of paper out. You can see I'm running very close to the shaft right now. So I will now mark my crank off at zero because we did not cut the paper. The previous time it started cutting the paper like this, which would mean I was actually a little over zero. Okay, we've zeroed out our dial, you can see here. Now I'm going to crank this 811 thousandths to move the cutter bit to the center of the shaft, and then we will use our center drill to get the hole started, and then we will start with our pilot drill bit, and then our finish size drill bit. We moved our cutter bit in, 811 thou. You can see here, it's a little hard to capture on camera. We're in the center of the workpiece. And we have quite a bit of in play in the shaft, so I only needed to make a mark eight and a quarter inches in from here to there. So a Sharpie mark for that is more than adequate. Now we're gonna go ahead, use our center drill get this started and then we'll switch over to our pilot bit. Okay ladies and gentlemen we've ran into our first problem. The machine we're working on is nearly turn of the century. We have a very large worm gear here and they are relying on, it's kind of an older technology not seen very often today, still used in places. You can see this old shaft is uh, fairly worse for wares. It runs with uh, Babbitt bushings, and it's, it's well scored and well used. So our thought was we would just throw this back in after center drilling the hole on the other shaft. Unfortunately, they use a taper pin don't know how well it'll focus. You can kind of see that this side is larger. You can see the profound wear we have where this was pinned through this worm gear and through the shaft. So in order to bring this back to spec, I unfortunately cannot machine a taper like that. To bring this back to spec, what we're gonna have to do is go 5 16 through everything, including the worm gear, 
and then build a new pin and rely on the cotter pins that the old one had as well. They relied primarily on the taper to secure the pin, but we will rely on the cotter pins here, or split pins, as our boys across the pond like to call them. Okay, we're going to start with our pilot bit. We have just a dollop of cutting fluid on there. We'll go ahead and drill this all the way through. Then we'll step up to our finish size, which is going to be 5 16 We'll bring you along. Okay, we've pierced with our pilot bit. Now we'll switch over to the 5 16 finish size. Now, very cautiously, we are going to use the drill bit that is the finished size to go ahead and open up these holes, this being smaller than 5 16 and this side being the smaller side of the taper pin. Okay, we're through our first side. I'm gonna add a little bit of cutting fluid. And we're going to very gently plunge through the bottom side. I'm just resting my hand. There we go. Now we are 5 16 all the way through. Here is our finished product looking very good perfect fit up on that now we've got to make a new pin for the worm gear and of course the shaft that we just finished I just threw this uh, 5 16 bolt grade 5 in the drill chuck hit it with a flap disc so it's not as uh, quite as noticeable as it's just a regular bolt and fits through good. We've got us a, us a little chip in there. There we go. Fits in really well, nicely profiled, and I think there's just enough there for me to get a very thin cotter pin. So we'll drill this bolt now and then we'll have our pin. Okay, we have our cotter pin hole or split pin hole. I just drilled it by hand, just eyeballing. I think I'm going to reduce the height of this head. Seems a little proud to me. Then we're gonna cut the threads off, clean it up with a file, and we'll call this project done. We'll bring you along. Just took that down with a flap disc. You can see the discoloration. And it's a little uneven, but nothing that's gonna matter, especially once I throw it back in the drill chuck and hit it with the grinder just a little bit more. Please pardon the noise. The rest of the guys have showed up here. I came in a little early to get this knocked out. Here is our uh, fit and finish. Turned out quite nicely. Very nice snug fit on the cotter pin. Just a little bit of back and forth here. Completely manageable for this vintage of machine. Nothing was ever quite perfect, but they did the best they could with what they had. Again, pardon the noise that I would show you. It is a perfectly tight fit on the shaft. And of course, our cotter pin will go right in there. I just have it a little off center. But there you have it.
there you have it. Another repair done, another success. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.